Okay, well, just uh, about to pull the radiator out and discovered something here. You can see the. Let me uh, let me get a flashlight. Quite a few up in the middle of it. Um, well, I've already got the new radiator, so I'm still gonna put it in. I don't think the old radiator was uh, doing what it was supposed to do in terms of flowing water. We're gonna do a test on that in a moment. But I did want to show you this. So this is squeezed in between the uh, condenser and the radiator. Radiator is up on the top of the screen, condenser is on the bottom. So, yeah. That, that right there, I need a little better focus there. So that right there could be a problem, eh? All right, well, let's continue. Okay, well, finally got the radiator out. And <laughs> check that out. Nice wad of uh, leaves and such. That, you know, not going up too, too far. There's a little bit of schmutz here, too. <clears throat> but, um, ultimately not the main cause of the problem. And uh, I think I'll attempt to prove that in a moment. Um, let me just bring you over to the to here and get a better look. So, there's a pile of leaves down there. We gotta vacuum that out, of course. Uh, pulling the battery out was essential to being able to get this whole radiator out. The um, condenser here it sits on top of the radiator and it's quite a wiggle job to get things out. There's a bracket here and on the other side over there that sits in a clip on the radiator on the back side of it. And you gotta kinda like pry the radiator and the um and this apart course this will not this only has a certain amount of distance it'll lift up so you really have to kind of push things around to get this thing to actually come up enough to clear the clip I'll show you that's the clip in question well, there's no question about it it's a bitch <laughs> and, uh, here's the one on the other side so yeah, watch your clips, be careful, go slow. All right, so anyway, give this thing a bit of a rinse down. So, uh, whoop, okay, so over there is the inlet tube coming out of the block, from the top of the manifold, I should say. And out here on the bottom goes into the uh, block. So we're gonna do a little water test. We're gonna okay. You can hear it filling up. And where's the water? Oh, there it go. Alright. Hang on, let me move this a little bit. Well, I don't want the water creeping into my garage here. Anyway. So we're getting a... Here's what the rate of what's coming in. And that's is what's coming out. It's starting to clear up now a little bit. So we're overflowing here now. And you know, one would think that the amount of water going in should pretty much equal coming out. And it's clearly not happening.
And also, <coughs> I'm curious to see the uh, the petcock. How this flows out or doesn't. Look at that. I've got that pet cop fully opened and what comes out? Nothing. A couple little spurts here and there, but really it's just dripping. You can see it. A couple little drips. With the amount of water I'm pumping in this thing should be flowing like that and that should be flowing a lot better than it is. We've got the new radiator in there. And I'm um, talking right now so I can uh, overcome the engine noise. Right now we're gonna do some shots of the temperature uh, with the engine running. So I'll speak throughout it, but uh, something tells me it's gonna be a little, a little different than what it was before. Right now I just turned off the engine and kind of scoping around the rad and getting mm, uh, different stuff but yeah that's doesn't really help um so we're gonna run the engine do some temps uh, i just took a uh, reading from my app uh for blue driver which uh, is a nice little uh odb2 plug-in module that you can buy uh, recommended by Scotty Kilmer and I uh, measured 190 degrees just as I pulled in the driveway here so as you may notice I don't have the blower motor in we have just the uh, impeller fan but uh yeah so it, uh, but I was driving around last night and got around up to about 190 degrees it seemed at once I started moving and cooled down a little more uh, obviously this arrangement right now there's no shroud and there's no other uh, uh, fan to kick in when it gets hotter so that's probably accounting for that but anyway let's take some uh, readings here see what we get Okay, I'll try and hold the phone as close to my face as possible so we can hear me. And let's see what we got. So, wow, 133 over here on the far right. And over there, 144, 145, and see if we can see the 145, I'm going to track over to the right. Progressively getting a little cooler. Alright, let's go down. Ah, look at this. Consistency. Look at this consistency as I go up and down. I'm not so worried about it being a little cooler. Ah, looks like the thermostat just opened. Um, but yeah, I'm not worried about it being cooler on the right hand side as opposed to the left hand side. I was concerned about was having some nice consistency moving up and down, and we certainly do. Let's try the middle. And, uh, yeah, very consistent. Look at this. Whoa, a little cooler towards the bottom here. Not sure why that is. Go back up. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe there's just more cool air coming in from the bottom. Could be. This is a brand new radiator, so I know there's nothing keeping preventing the air from flowing. Of course, again, we don't have the crowd inside here, so that's gonna have an effect on uh, things. But overall, it's a lot more consistent as I move up and down. Uh, let's try going across the middle here. Yeah. I 
down a little more. Really not much, uh, not too much variation. We'll let the, uh, let things warm up just a tad a little more. I've got my new green antifreeze in here. After I cleaned it out. Let's take a look inside to see what we get on the actual thermostat. All right, so as we can see on the thermostat or the temperature gauge, whatever you want to call it, uh, temperature gauge, we got right in the middle there, which is a nice place to be. And if we can keep it consistent, that'll be good. I'm, imagine once I put the uh, fan shroud and the uh, that big blower fan in there, it'll probably be a bit more regular. But yeah, um, just to give you some more information, the uh, I was heating up towards uh, well over 190, and in some cases past 200, to the point where I was getting uncomfortable. And this would be after going up some steep hills and whatnot. So that's never a good thing. Uh, we, you know, if you've ever, if you're a driver of these cars, fan of these cars, you know that sweet spot is typically right in the middle here. That generally seems to be where they want to sit. And uh, with it going up and down like crazy, that's not good. Let's go ahead and uh, take another look here. That's better. Okay, so. Yeah, we've been running for a while, so. That's pretty consistent. Go down all that. Three or two here or there. Much, much better. Much, much better than uh, before. Where there was all those cold spots and inconsistencies and stuff. Alright, so that's it for real this time. Uh, I'm gonna pop in the blower motor and uh, see how that handles. Alright, so we may come back with another part.